Hi, this is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com, and you're watching a Windows Phone Mango Preview. Okay, this time we're going to look at landscape support. We were told Windows Phone Mango is going to have some uh, improved landscape support, and if you have a HTC Arrive or the LG Quantum uh, with the slide out keyboard, you probably remember that Windows Phone has very inconsistent landscape support. So, first off, start menu does not rotate. Now, this is obviously a Samsung focus, so it may not have all the landscape things enabled, and it's also a preview, so uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. But let's look at some places where you might want some landscape support. Searching contacts, this is one thing that did not make it to the original Windows Phone 7 is uh, being able to search and it is still not there in Mango. You want to be able to type a contact name but it's kind of weird having it like that. So that's still uh, not fixed. Bing still supports landscape so that's a good thing. And uh, what about that uh, local scout here? This is a new feature. Does it support landscape? No, it does not. However, if you go into one of these things, you do get landscape support. So a lot of inconsistencies are still here. Let's look at what else. text messaging, we got it. That's good. And here's the uh, me card. That does support landscape still. None of the hubs support landscape mode. So let's get back out here. Calendar is going to have landscape. That still works. No landscape in Xbox Live. Marketplace, the hub does not do landscape. But searching does. So that's good. There's a lot of flipping around here. System settings. We got landscape in most of these. So that's good. Maps, this is another one. You want to search. We do not have landscape. So a lot of things are not going to be great with the slide out keyboard for landscape mode. Internet Explorer. Now you remember with the regular Windows Phone 7, if you were in landscape mode, you couldn't do anything except for type an address. But now we've got our menu. So that's accessible again. Office Hub, not landscape. However, searching does support landscape. And SharePoint, as well as the search here. And your SkyDrive browser. as well as the search there. Of course, uh, when you're in a document, these are going to support landscape. So that's good for typing. 
and email still supports landscape. One more new feature is the groups for contacts. Now you see these are all live tiles in the grid, kind of like the start menu. And does this support landscape? Yes, it does. So that's cool. It might give you an indication of how Microsoft might be able to do the start menu in the landscape version. But obviously, we don't have that yet. And you see all these are landscape supported. But what happens when you go to the pictures? Uh, no more landscape. However, we can go into an actual picture and you'll get landscape again. So, even within things that you would be do normally doing, you gotta do a lot of this turning to get your uh, landscape. Now the phone search does not support landscape. And here's one more thing. Say we are in landscape and you tap and hold the uh, back button. This is how your multitasking looks. It's the same as if it was in portrait, but you scroll up and down. Another place where landscape support would be good is in the application searching. But we don't have that. So hopefully a lot of these things will be fixed by the time Mango is released. But right now we got a lot of inconsistencies. So that's about it for what has uh, changed or not changed with the landscape support in Windows Phone Mango. Be sure to check out pocketnow.com for our full Windows Phone 7.5 Mango preview. That's it for now.